Only on RTV6, our Call 6 investigators are finding new victims of the massive Target data breach. Unemployment benefits are being held up all over Indiana, so people are struggling to pay bills even if they don't use plastic or they don't even shop at Target. Call 6 investigator Stephen Dean has been digging for answers from the state agency behind it and joins us with what he's found. Stephen. Well, the state workforce development office wouldn't tell us how long this has been going on or how many people are being hurt by this, but all unemployment benefits are paid using debit cards. That's the only way they can get it. The state admits the target breach has been slowing them down and it's left some people unable to pay their bills for more than a month. He's getting chores done around his new castle home while he waits on state unemployment benefits that were supposed to be his last month. He doesn't shop at Target or use plastic, but Josh Reno can't pay any of his bills now because of the Target credit card breach. Uh, it's just, it's been hectic and it's uh, stressful. I mean, Every, you know, every day things are a little more stressful. It puts you on edge because you're waiting. He's been checking his balance on his phone, and sure enough, three unemployment payments are in his account. But since the state uses debit cards, he can't access a penny of it, and the bills are piling up. It's like looking at a bank account that's been frozen, you know, until they decide that they're going to let you have it. For others who sign up for their benefits at unemployment offices like this one in Northwest Indy, the state workforce development office admits debit cards have been delayed because the bank the state uses is regrouping from the target data breach. Now people are waiting for the mail truck to arrive with it so they can actually spend the money that's theirs. Oh, that's just aggravating. I mean, uh, it's aggravating because I've basically drained my life savings while I've saved up. He says the state's vendor kept on telling him the card was mailed out days, even weeks ago. But now he and others like Vicente Moniz are being told it hasn't even been mailed yet at all. The worst part is that no one seems to care. Uh, the, you know, you call one agency, they send you to another. They're just passing the buck. Workforce development would not answer our questions on camera about this. A spokesman actually saying it's not really an issue for them because debit cards are being mailed out. They're in the mail. The state vendor is now waiving fees to expedite those cards because of this delay. But for some, that is little help in paying their bills. We will keep watching this. Reporting live, Stephen Dean, RTV6.